Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> oh, hello there, boys and girls. The name's Jozza. Oh, Mike, put the camera up here. Come on. That's better. All right, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to construct a Western Australian residential door. First, before we make the door, we need a wall. Before we make a wall, we need a site, which means we need a site analysis. Here, we talk about the weatherproofing considerations and the structural and thermal calculations for coming. Then, the first order of business is to make one of these, a concrete slab with a damp-proof membrane. These will act as footings for the load of the house. Then, we install a steel-framed inner leaf. This acts as the house's framework. It is a constituent of the building's envelope and helps carry the load of the ceiling to the ground. Then we add the inner leaf insulation, which increases the thermal performance due to reducing the convection and adds to the overall thermal mass. Then comes the external leaf or the brick veneer wall. These bricks carry the load to the ground and hold up the lint. This kind of masonry construction acts as a thermal mass. It also has a cavity in between the external and interior leaf. This cavity acts as a moisture barrier and also helps with the circulation. Now it comes time to install the weatherproofing in the form of flashing. This also acts as a moisture barrier. Now for the first step of the door construction, we add the lintel. This supports the load of the roof above the door and distributes it to the surrounding bricks and eventually to the ground. Then we add waterproofing sealant in preparation for the door frame which consists of the head and the jamb, which supports the load of the door. Then we add a hinge and the door. We all know what doors are for. That was the whole reason for this jargon. This provides a barrier between the external and the internal. This wooden door acts as a minor thermal mass. It is aided by a sill flap, which helps control ventilation. Okay, boys and girls, these are the steps that you have to follow if you want to make a residential door down here in the WA. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the reason for a door is to go in and out of your house. So hopefully, you now understand the structural, thermal, weatherproofing principles to consider when constructing your next door.